second line of control traumatism traumatism is the kind of controlled society use as it was used all over the ages all over the world in the wars public deaths sacrifices books all these things all of these are traumatic events big or small made to subdue the population into fear acceptance and control these days society use lots of tactics to pass on their ways but today is the mostly the entertainment business that they use to do the control for them like television books and music things that people love and think that it makes good thing for them they make yeah, them feel good people use these things today without even knowing what they are really for like money and television what are they really made for you know? go look at it look at the story of television and radio what they use it for Sure, these things seems all good. If it was not, you wouldn't want it. You know. If it wasn't, you wouldn't want it at all. You wouldn't not buy it. You wouldn't not give yourself to it. It is made this way, to make you want it. But if you knew the true purpose of it, would you still like them? Mm. Those things are to keep people's mind off of themselves, unconscious. To lose yourself in a group mentality, wandering in a dream world, in a dream. Not the, eventu uh, not the individuality, the reality of things. As long as you follow the line drawn by the media, you are being led in your mind to be a slave of some kind of control. It makes you dream and wonder at what life should or what it could be but that is only the visions of the society wants for you it is because you do not know what you want if you did commercials would be useless everyone needs to know that control is not taken from you it is given by you to them it is always your choice only you can let someone take control of your action. You know, society is like a vampire. And they portrayed this in the movie. It is all related. You know? Vampire sucks the blood of people to keep them alive. So does society. Without people, it is dead. And vampires can never take someone, something from you unless you give it to them. It sounds a lot like society to me. All, all that exists and happens all around you before your eyes is a relation of the life that exists inside of you. It is you. Only you can see what your eyes can see. Nobody can see it because of... Nobody can see this because of what society made you believe. What you see with your eyes is what it is and not more and what they teach you is the truth then it must be true this vicious circle can only be broken when you decide for yourself by experiences researches self-knowledge self-discovery what is the truth in all of this what life really is what life really means and what to do with it to be able to know that you got to have a free mind, free of other people's thought, free of what society's will and grasp on you, free of all fears. You have to let go of your attachment of the material and meditate on all your action in life and to regress to a state you were when you were a child, pure untainted by beliefs and relearn everything from there on your own by your own will 
and by your own heart's desire. Know that you have all the abilities unimaginable already in you. Do not let someone tell you what you are or not. Know yourself. It is the only way to regain your own mind and to see the true reality that is before you. If not, you only live in a made-up world of someone else's thoughts or plan, a follower of others' visions and makings, a slave to society.